It's a very quick turnaround then, between now and, and Wednesday. So what's the plan of action for the next couple of days? Yeah, we already trained this morning and we will have training tomorrow uh, evening as well. And on Wednesday morning before we travel to Sheffield. And at the minute it's all about to get freshness back in their legs and in their head as well. After this very exciting match that we had. And then we can't wait to be fair to play the second leg. Is everybody looking okay then after your first training session this morning? Yeah, everybody looks good. No further issues after yesterday. This means we have the same group together for the training tomorrow and on Wednesday like we had in last week. Much has been made of Sheffield Wednesday's approach yesterday. They came seemingly to defend. Do you expect them to be more open on Wednesday night? To be fair, I don't know. If we take the experience which we had against them in the past, they played more or less exactly the same idea against us when we played them away, Hillsborough. They sat really deep, invested less for the game, and we were not able to score against them, and we lost this game. Even in, when we played uh, very good, and we get very good cut chances as well, uh, Wallace scored an unbelievable goal in this game, and we will see. Like always, we are not able to influence what Carlos and Sheffield Wednesday will do. We have to be focused on ourselves. I think that worked yesterday very well, and this is why we stick in our routine. We have to make sure that we make us independent, and we have to make sure that we bring our game plan onto the grass. And I think that worked yesterday. We, in my opinion, played well. I I know that Sheffield wanted to sit deep, but I'm sure they didn't want to have as less ball possession and as less threat in the counter and in the transition. So we were very strong to avoid everything and we dominate the game. And I think the performance gives us every reason to be very confident for the rematch. And then we will see how Sheffield will react and which uh, and what we will do against them. They're now under a lot of pressure to deliver at home. Big expectation from their fans as well. Do you think that works to your advantage? I think this depends on the performance and how the games, how the game will goes on. <coughs> if we will, if we will come back, come back into the game very strong like we did yesterday, I think the supporters will not be happy from Sheffield Wednesday, and then. The crowd can have a neg negative influence on you as a home crowd, as, uh, as a home team as well. So, at the end, I think we can say we performed well yesterday. It, it 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 wasn't a dream result, but it was a result where we have all options. We are uh, totally in the race, and I think from the performance side, we have every reason to be excited for the rematch. How do you find that clinical edge then to make sure that you are the team that, that gets the goals that will take you to Wembley? It will be great if you are able to use one of them and go in front. I think then there is a big, big problem for Sheffield Wednesday. This is something we have in our head and this is something uh, which is our target. On the other side, we have to make sure that we, like yesterday, give nothing away. We have to make sure that we don't lose the balls in the areas where it is dangerous to lose the balls and invite Sheffield for counters and transitions. This is what we did excellent yesterday. And I think we can take a lot of good things out of the performance yesterday. Again, I, th I don't think we will have a game with a lot of goal chances on Wednesday on both, out on both sides. And then you have to make sure that you use one of your raw opportunities. This will be great. Do you see it going to extra time and penalties, possibly? Can happen. If it happens, we take it and we will prepare it. If not, and we can make it and, and we can decide it earlier, we will prefer this as well. So we will be prepared for everything what happens. If it's extra time, we will be there. If it's penalty shootout, we will be there. 
if it's in 90 minutes we will be there as well i think this is nothing what what you can have in your head before the game this is something which happens over the game and how the game how the game goes on if it did go to extra time so much has been made of the level of fitness from all the players at Huddersfield Town would you be quite confident that they might have the edge there over Sheffield Wednesday I have no concerns about it I, I'm not worried about uh, our fitness if we have to go in overtime in, in extra time I think this will be more advantage rather than a disadvantage if we will go in extra time this is what I think about the case if we have to go in extra time. And if it did go to penalties, will you practice <laughs> over the next couple of days? You, you cannot practice uh, penalties, uh, penalties shoot out, uh, in my opinion. This is a totally different atmosphere if you come to a penalty shoot out in the semi-finals, but we are pretty confident that we are able to put the ball into the net from 12 yards and we have enough Germans in our team and everybody knows Germans are able to win penalty shootouts. <laughs> um, with regard to Danny Ward, he's going to be available again after his suspension. Will he come back into the team on Wednesday? Yeah, this is the plan. Unfortunately, he was a little bit ill today and wasn't able to train, but I think this should not be a major issue if he is healthy and fit then he will start on Wednesday in the goal. And it's going back to Hillsborough which is where you first started your Huddersfield Town career. Does it kind right. of feel like a nice synchronicity almost that it could be the same venue where you take this team to Wembley? If this will be the case it's a nice story isn't it? So uh, we started in Hillsborough with a defeat and now finish the circle in Hillsborough with a victory. Great story this will be. And for sure, we all together will try everything to, to use this real chance. We have a realistic chance and this is something extraordinary for us as a football club. And with this in your mind that you have a real realistic chance to come to the Wembley, to the big final, this uh, is excitement enough and now with the performance we have shown in the first leg i think we are pretty confident to have a chance and this is what we have and we will search for our chance we will not wait we will search for it and we will be active for sure and it's, it's a fairy tale story isn't it kind of a david and goliath a big club with a big history that has spent loads of money against plucky huddersfield so it's um it is a fairy tale if you could get to Wembley. Yeah, and I like the story because David won <laughs> this battle. <laughs> so when we came here on Thursday, there was a photo of the 1972 Huddersfield <laughs> team there. It's, uh, it's now gone. Is that to make space for uh, the, the 2017 team? No, I used it in my uh, final meeting before we met Sheffield Wednesday on Sunday to visualize the players how far away it was where this football club were the last time in the in the Premier League and they agreed that it's time to write a new chapter maybe for this football club. <laughs>